Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Leanne, and today I'm making corned beef and cabbage. You can pick up a corned beef at pretty much any grocery store. There are two cuts to choose from, flat cut and point cut. The flat cut will give you nice slices, which is what I used, and the point cut will shred and pull apart easily. I prefer the point cut because it's most tender. Uh, I'll leave a link to my blog post in the description in case you want to print out the recipe. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put my corned beef in the Instant Pot. Just like that. Fat side up is good. And then the little spice packet that came with it, you're just gonna wanna sprinkle right on the top. And the recipe on the blog calls for Guinness um, Irish beer, but I'm going to use Samuel Adams this time. I have not used Samuel Adams before um, in this recipe. I usually always do Guinness, um, but I have heard people say it's really good. So then you need two Samuel Adams, 12 ounce, and you're just going to pour them in. ring is in and all your everything on your lid is good to go and we are going to cook this on high pressure for 90 minutes and uh, some recipes call for 60 but I have found that 90 minutes seems to be the sweet spot for any kind of roast it comes out so tender and delicious So our Instant Pot just stopped and I hit cancel. We're gonna wait 10 minutes for a natural pressure release and I'm gonna go ahead and start a timer. And then after this timer goes off, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full manual pressure release, which just means I'm gonna flip that lever to venting. All of the pressure has released. Now you want to remove this, but leave all that juice in there. Because now we're going to put the cabbage and potatoes and carrots in there. We're going to keep all that yummy liquid. And just drop the cabbage. And this is a medium sized cabbage, just quartered. And I've got six potatoes. I did six. The recipe calls for five, but I did six because these were kind of small. Um, and I just quartered them. I like big pieces of potato in this. So that's why. But you can cut them smaller if you want. And then usually I use baby carrots. Um, but all I have on hand right now is some carrot chips. Just a shortcut from the store. So I'm going to put those in there. All right. Just dump those in there. And these get, like I said, these get cooked separately because Otherwise, it will just disintegrate. I mean, 90 minutes. Vegetables do not need 90 minutes. <laughs> so, then we're going to take our lid, put it back on. Oops. And put this on ceiling. So, we're going to do high pressure for three minutes. Okay, time's up. So we just cancel it and then release the pressure. You want to release the pressure right away on the vegetables or they will get soggy. This is one of the easiest Instant Pot recipes ever. 
I used my Instant Pot at the house at least twice a week and that really hasn't changed since we moved into the RV. The number one piece of cooking equipment that I would recommend for RV living and RV cooking is an Instant Pot. I have two and I use them almost daily. I'd follow that up with at least one cast iron skillet and if you like to bake, a pizza stone for the bottom of the oven. It helps distribute heat so the bottom of whatever you're baking doesn't burn. I will leave a link in the description for both of the things that I use. Okay, so the pressure has fully released. We're gonna take the lid off. Oh my gosh, that looks perfect. Oh, yum. Now we're going to show you how to plate this up. gotta have that yummy juice it's like pot liquor it's like the pot liquor of collard greens you gotta have all that yummy juice in there so good Let's some more juice so I just wanted to come back and let you guys know these carrots they're perfect. They're not, they did not disintegrate. I've already been eating this for probably 10 minutes, but you can see there's, they still have a firmness to them. So they didn't just kind of disappear in the soup and same with the potatoes. And that's why I cook them separately. I've seen other recipes cook them, um, with the meat for 90 minutes or even 60 minutes. And it's just too much cause they just disappear. But I like to have a nice bite of potato, a nice bite of carrot and then a nice bite of cabbage all together in one bite doesn't look like it's gonna happen but you know what I mean so my pressure whoop what's going on what the hell quiet on the set <laughs>